let's talk about notes payable. Notes payable is a liability on your balance sheet. Really, notes payable is a loan with interest. You borrow money and you're charged interest. In our example, uh, Quest Corporation issued a 90-day 5% note for $60,000. That word issued is another word for borrowed. So this company is borrowing money. And in this problem, we're going to calculate the proceeds of the note. Proceeds means how much you're borrowing. Then we're going to journalize when the note is issued or borrowed. And then journalize when the company Quest Corporation, us, pays it back. All right, to be able to journalize these problems, we need to use the interest formula. Interest is the cost to borrow money. First, we have the principal. You're going to multiply the principal times the rate, and then the rate times the time. Again, interest is the cost to borrow money. Principal is the amount you borrowed. In this case, we borrowed $60,000. Rate is the interest rate you're being charged to borrow that money. It's usually expressed in or as a percentage. So when that happens, make sure to convert that percentage into a decimal before inputting it into your calculator, unless your calculator has a percentage um, function on it. Next, we have the time. The time is always expressed in years. This is the length of time that uh, you're borrowing the loan for. Again, very important that this is always expressed in years. So if it's given to you, if the problem gives you months or days, you have to express that as a fraction of the year. This problem here does have a loan uh, that is in days and not in years. But we'll go over that right now when we do our calculations. So let's calculate our interest. Our interest here is your principal times your rate times your time. So in this particular example, our principal is 60,000. Our rate is 5% or 0 0.05 times the number of days is 90 days. In most interest calculations, uh, the number of days in the year is 360 and not 365. Again, that time is expressed in years, and that's why it's a fraction. Our interest equals $750. So, big picture, you borrowed $60,000. Uh, the creditor is charging you 5%, and you have 90 days to pay it back, and your interest to borrow that money is $750. The first set of journal entries is when we borrow the money or the issuance of the note. So when you borrow uh, money, you will get cash. You're going to debit cash for $60,000 and you're going to credit notes payable because now you owe on that loan uh, $60,000. Let's fast forward into the future. Let's say that we're repaying the loan now. So we're going to do repayment of the notes payable. The first thing you want to debit is the notes payable account for $60,000. Previously that was an open liability and now we want to debit it so we can clear that out. And so on our records it doesn't show that we're, we owe anything. Next you want to debit interest expense. This will record the cost to borrow the money and why we needed to do the interest formula. This is a debit for $750. Next we'll go to credit cash for not only the amount you borrowed or we borrowed but also for the interest expense so credit to cash for sixty thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars 